Hi everyone, it's Ray with Tarot Living. I hope you're doing well. So today is an incredibly special day here in Canada. We're actually 150 years old today, and so it is our birthday, it's July 1st. So happy Canada Day to everyone who lives in this country. It is an amazing place to live. So today I'm going to actually do my first installment of what I'm gonna call Tarot on the Go. And Tarot for me anyway is a, a modality um, as other modalities can be, uh, something that's very important in the, it's kind of really at the center of my life, I guess you could say. I don't put tarot to the side, it's not sidelined, it's not marginalized in my life. Tarot is front and center in my life, as is astrology. And I think when you have passion for something and you are doing spiritual work, we want to try and find ways to incorporate and infuse the things that we're passionate about in our everyday life. And so for me, I infuse tarot, I infuse uh, astrology and other modalities and crystals into my everyday life. And it becomes a way of living. So that's why I call the channel Tarot Living. So uh, today we're actually gonna do just a random tarot draw, uh, pull of a couple of cards and do an interpretation on the fly. So this is like tarot on the go or tarot on the fly. And you can do this in your own life. Uh, you know, I often have tarot cards with me in my bag or I'll, um, I'll be at home a lot because I actually have, I am afforded the opportunity of working from home with my company. So, um, so I actually use tarot throughout the day and throughout the weekends in particular, I'll bring my cards with me. So let's do, I've got my uh, commemorate edition, commemorative edition of the Rider Waite Smith. So let's go ahead and just do a tarot draw of two cards and just do an interpretation on the fly and see what today has in store for me. I'm actually, it's Saturday and I'm doing what I normally do on Saturdays, which is I have a Starbucks drink and I often go down to the spiritual uh, bookstore or the crystal store and I pick something up. So this is our first card, it's the Hanged Man, and I'll pick a second card. Ooh, okay, the Hanged Man and the Eight of Swords. The Hanged Man and the Eight of Swords. So I'm not gonna hold them up the whole time, so just remember that, Hanged Man and Eight of Swords. So my interpretation, so the first thing that jumps out at me when I see uh, those two cards that are coming up together is that the Hanged Man has his foot that is tied and he's bound and the eight of swords the woman is bound she has ties around her and she's not moving out of her situation so if those two cards were pulled for anyone in any situation i would automatically be thinking what is it that's holding them back what is it that they that are they're binding themselves to that is not allowing them to move forward. And you're definitely in a pause phase right now. You're definitely not moving forward right now. So the question is, are you initially where you're in a phase with like the hanged man where you needed to rest, you needed to pause, uh, perhaps you needed to surrender to your situation, but the Eight of Swords is now suggesting that you are maybe so bound up that your own mental thinking is keeping you in that situation. And so the question becomes, have you allowed or let something in your life go from just a pause and a rest to perhaps not moving forward when you really should be and you should be looking at the things that are holding you back looking at the things that are binding you looking at the things that are imprisoning you and not allowing you to be totally free um, so that to me those two cards speak volumes in terms of um, the energy flow how someone is moving forward or in this case not moving forward so if they had those two cards come up in a reading I would automatically be questioning I, I know they're not moving forward right now so the question is um, did they get themselves into that because it was an initially a good pausing phase in order to contemplate and then it kind of went too far where it became something that they're really just not um, seeing all of the ways out and seeing all the avenues that could be possibilities for them? Are they feeling entrapped in some way? Um, are you starting to become or feel like a victim? The hanged man is actually ruled by Pisces. Um, or sorry, it should be, I should have said Neptune. Pisces and Neptune are connected, but it's ruled by Neptune as the modern ruler and just water as the uh, classical ruler. Um, 
And Neptune can often be a planet, planetary energy that we almost can, can get into a phase where we're not moving forward and we're kind of feeling a bit like a victim. And the Eight of Swords can definitely get us into that mode as well. So the question becomes, are you getting into victim mode about something? Uh, not feeling like you have your personal power front and center in your life uh, because you need to be able to get that personal power you know, reorganized and rethink it and then be able to move forward in whatever it is that you want to do. So that's what I would say about those two cards. So I hope you like this installment of Tarot on the Fly. Peace. Have a great day.